train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. And today a guy made a comment. He said, uh, let's just throw out eccentric damage, full range of motion and proper technique. We don't do squats just to build legs. We do them to build the overall body in general. We don't bench press to build chest. We bench to build overall upper body strength and size. This is terrible advice in my opinion. Basically he's talking about my advice is terrible advice in his opinion. Well, congratulations. You made it to Stupid Comments Saturday. Okay, so first of all, let's deal with the first comment. The first comment is, let's throw out eccentric damage. Now, I don't know what kind of videos this guy's been watching or if he's even watched my videos at all, but I am lowering the weight. I'm not just letting it drop, right? So if I just drop my legs like this with four plates, that would be different than me lowering at a, at a different speed. Just because you're lowering at a medium speed doesn't mean you're throwing out the eccentric portion of the exercise. As long as you have that exercise under control, the muscles are being eccentrically damaged and there will be results from it. And my legs are basically proof of that. Bam. Bam, bam. So I don't know why this is lost. I'm almost thinking that there's a lot of people on YouTube that can't see and they can't think and there's just a bunch of sort of uh, disabilities that they're dealing with at the same time as they're somehow managing to press play on a video. Look at my leg. Do you think my legs just kind of developed just out of nowhere like just air or maybe Aladdin showed up and I had three wishes and I just said I want quadriceps, I want hamstrings. I don't know. I don't understand where these people get this logic from but they seem to be incapable of thinking properly. They're like you can't get results with that. It's kind of like me talking to my cat and saying you can't get fur. I don't know whether it's a vaccination problem in the world or something like that, but there's some sort of brain kind of dysfunction going on. So anyway, he says, we don't do squats to build legs. We do them to build the overall body and general strength. Well, what part of building the overall body don't you get from the way I'm doing it? Because the way I'm doing it, if you look at this picture right here, it looks like I'm building my overall body quite well, thanks. I mean, I can do all the strength stuff that you're talking about. I have flexibility. And at the same time, I was one of the fastest skaters on the ice, even though I didn't even know how to skate when I first started skating. So I had sports performance capability. So the fact is you're saying that I'm not actually building the overall body, that is a false sort of statement. So please watch more than one video, or at least 10 seconds of one video, watch more than that. And then maybe you'll actually understand how stupid your statement is. Now 30 goes, we don't do bench presses to build the chest, we do it to build the overall upper body strength. Try doing chin-ups with just doing chest for about 10 years and see how many chin-ups you get. Building the chest or building the bench press doesn't mean that you're going to get strength in other areas of your body. Your bicep curl is not going to go up just because you have a good bench press. If you have a good bench press, it doesn't mean your lateral raise is going to be massive. There's a lot of other muscles in the upper body than just the ones that work through bench presses. So you're saying that we don't do any of these exercises except for to grow the entire body. Well then if that's the case, then throw your chest training, throw your back training, and just do Olympic lifts. Just do the snatch and the power clean. Just do that because you're saying that you don't want to work individual muscle groups. Now doing the snatch and the power clean, now jump underneath the bench press and see how strong your bench press is if all you do is power cleans and snatches for about a year. Maybe two years, maybe ten years. See, those lifts will not make your bench press stronger. <music> Like I had guys in, in elementary school when I could bench press 105 pounds when I was 80 pounds and I had this kid come up to me and say, well, if you could bench press 105 pounds, that means you should be able to lift 105 pounds over your head. Well, anybody that has any sort of intelligence will tell you that lifting over your head works different muscles than the muscles that is pushing forward. You're not really working the chest the same way. You're not working the front delts the same way and you're not working all the stabilizers in the spine when you're bench pressing as opposed to when you're lifting overhead. So to say that you're doing bench presses to, to work the overall body is a bullshit statement because the fact is, is you're not working the overall body from just doing bench press and you're not working the overall body from doing squats. You're working a percentage of the body and you are working a bunch of different muscles but you're not working the whole body. So don't give me that bullshit that you're doing this sort of exercise or you're doing your bicep curls because you're trying to get an overall body workout. That's just stupid. Thanks. You're really entertaining me. 
seriously, I was getting kind of bored with this whole YouTube thing until I see these comments. I didn't realize this kind of level of lack of intelligence and observation skills still existed in the world. I mean, this is middle age type shit. This is like from the from the dark ages. I mean, you, you would have been an excellent person to execute witches and shit during the dark ages because they had the same type of misconceptions about things like throwing people in the water and if they could float, that meant they were a witch. Now let's talk about proper technique because you made another comment about proper technique. So you're going to say proper technique from one person is the exact same technique for another person? Again, that's an oversimplified statement that only a person in kindergarten when it comes down to bodybuilding would make. Now, my brother and I have done extensive research on this and extensive experiments that lasted three freaking decades. Have you done that? Probably not. Have you even lasted longer than a few months in the gym, let alone three decades? Probably not. But the fact is my brother and I have done different experiments with different speeds of rep and also different ranges of motion. My brother even squatted ass to the grass for five years and he got perpetual knee pain from it. Even though he's a naturopathic doctor and did all the treatments and therapies on the muscles around the area to make sure that his muscles and ligaments were all taken care of, worked on flexibility, worked on neuromodulation techniques, all these things to make sure the nervous system and the entire body was firing properly. But yet every single time he go do those deep squats over a period of a week or two, inflammation of the knees would result. Now, I did the same experiment. Same thing happened with me. And did my muscular gains go up? No, they didn't. My muscular gains actually went down from doing too excessive a range of motion. Now, when I was doing slow reps with all different exercises, I noticed also that I shrank. At first, I got a little bit sore from it. At first, I got a little bit of a pump. Then over time, I noticed that my strength started to go down and my overall pump and muscle mass gains started to go down. So these experiments happened so all that you see me doing in my training is the culmination of many experiments that have been done over three decades, and that's why I do it. It's because it obviously works, which is why I have a basement full of trophies, and you probably don't. But dang, jing, that's right. I'm out of here. I hope this helped you understand that making oversimplified statements like this are kind of ignorant. And the fact is there's a lot of different factors that you have to take into account when talking about what proper training is or what eccentric ranges of motion are or what eccentric forces are. It's not this oversimplified thing that eccentric forces aren't just isometric. You don't have to lower a rep for five seconds in order to get eccentric results. Anything that is under control will still be classified as eccentric. So anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. Thanks a lot for watching. You need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com. Thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters, and take care from now. Hey, don't be doing a drive-by posing. Come on, man. Come on. Right man. I can see that in your eye. I can see what you're going to do. Right now, yeah.